Precious. You don't know where I It's Mr. Scooby Doo. A Hollywood actor. And you are equally a Hollywood person. May your soul rest in peace. And may all the victims that died, may they rest in peace. Amen. Let the government and let the world equally help the Hollywood persons to survive in life. Because many of us that are actors today, suffering like this and dying, we came from a very poor family. And we are suffering and dying. But let the world stand for us. Let the government equally stand for us. Imagine me, a survivor. What if I die like this? What will my family say? Or what would the world say? Please, please, let the world hear us. Let the world hear us. Precious. Precious, may your soul rest in peace. In the last call for Mary, and we are going back to our destination. Thank God for everything. Hmm, my people, wonder they say shall never end. So they buried this boy with that casket. Hmm, this one really shocked me. So here is the Precious, uh, one of the boy that died alongside with Gino Pope. My people, when uh, Adama was narrating her side of story, she said that she has been busy you know, looking for caskets, you know, getting these people buried and all that. Like, they literally buried this boy with that casket. Hey, this is so shameful, my people. And they can't even see none of them there. None of them were there, except one of the survivors, which I'm going to show you, because he went to Prophet Jeremiah's church, and uh, he gave his life to Christ. Remember, the King Femur said this, that uh, what his eyes saw that day is as if that all the Nollywood actors and actresses, like, None of them are Christians. So this particular person went to Prophet Jeremiah's uh, church in order to thank him because of what uh, Prophet Jeremiah did to Precious family because he gave them 10 million in order to bring a Precious body back to his hometown and give him proper burial. So he went there and at the end of the day, Prophet Jeremiah gave him also 2 million naira, my people, and he gave his life to Christ. Like a lot happened, my people, which I would love you guys to watch the full video and I will be right back. I was one of the survivors from the boat. I saw your, your, your handwork, that's why I came here to thank you. <laughs> it, touches, it touches my heart. May their soul rest in perfect peace. I promise God, if you bless me, I will be a blessing to the nation. Here is two million naira. Survivor of boat accident in tears as Papa J blessed him with 2 million naira. On the 21st of April 2024, while the man of God was ministering during the Sunday service, he talked about how God instructed him to assist the parents of the late sound engineer, Precious Oforum, and how it's important to show gratitude when a young man ran out. Let's watch. Something happened. When I look at it, my mind was not there. But the Lord spoke to me. Go and be assistant to these people. Especially the young boy called Precious. Who they've just buried at the seesaw. Nobody, no family members to come and now help. When the Lord spoke to me, I said go for that. Because I saw the woman crying on the social media space. The mother of the young boy. And when they come to the Precious family, they welcome them. When they hear Papa J, they said, hey, we thank God. Messiah has come. God does send somebody. They welcome them. They pray for me. If I do anything good, even as small or good, thank you. That's what I want from you. They pray for me. That's all. Who is this one? I was one of the survivors from the boat. I saw your, your, your handwork, that's why I came here to thank you, personally. The young man in tears appreciated the man of God for his kind gesture towards his late colleague's parents. You're one of the survivors. Yes, sir. I really appreciate you for everything you've done for us. God Almighty will bless you. And thank you from the depth of my soul. I'm happy that I met you personally, and I say this appreciation from my heart. Today you are here. Yes. In order to what? To thank God and to thank you. Actually, I said I'll make it a testimony, but I've not been given the opportunity. So when you were making this preaching, and at the same time you preached concerning 
The title of the movie we are shooting. <laughs> okay, the other side. It touches, it touches my heart. It's okay, take it easy, take it easy. May their souls rest in perfect peace. Those, our brothers, that who have lost their lives. Life is something that which one day, every one of us will be with the Lord. One day. But our prayer, we should not die young. That's our prayer. But what has happened today, my prayer for Nollywood, we should not take this thing for granted anymore. There are powers that we are inviting after our acting. And these things are affecting us. Affecting the innocent children. Don't worry. I pray for you today. May God show mercy. He said he came here in order to now say thank you for what Jeremiah Motofufui Foundation have done for the family of our brother, late Precious, who been with the Lord today. There's a popular saying, appreciation is an application for more. The young man who came to show appreciation was also appreciated by the man of God. I have something for you as you are here. Papa, giving is in your DNA, Papa. Oh. They play, they show. Amen. I promise God. If you bless me, I will be a blessing to the nation. And you do bless me every second, every hour. And I promise you that a day like this, I will remember your children. I did not send for him. He just came in order to thank God for the good things that Prophet Jeremiah Omoto Fufu Foundation have done for his colleagues. Jeremiah Omoto Fufu Foundation. As I promised God, yeah, it's two million naira. I have to present it for you. I have visited so many different church. I see them as calm. You see them as what? As calm. Scam. I told myself I will never visit any church to mm. give thanksgiving. That let my name alone be a thanksgiving to God. I thank you so much, my prophets. From today, I stand in the presence of the world to say my spiritual father is Prophet Jeremiah. After giving the cash of 2 million naira and the Holy Bible, the man of God admonished Nollywood actors to embrace Jesus, for only Jesus can protect them from unforeseen battles. The man of God led Mr. Thank God to Christ. He had been against and also he did not believe Jesus Christ. You can see now. How can this evil thing will not take place in Nollywood? You are attacking. You are not for devil. You are not for uh, Jesus. Well, where are you? You must belong to a group. Are you ready to give your life to Christ? Yes, sir. Okay. Say, Lord Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ. Say, I thank God. I thank God. I hereby declare. I hereby declare. As from today on. As from today on. I will worship you. I will worship you. Uh, Have mercy on me. Have mercy on me. You died on the cross of Calvary. You died on the cross of Calvary. Because of my sins. Because of my sins. Wash me with your precious blood. Wash me with your precious blood. And accept me as your son. And accept me as your son. As from today. As from today. I will not worship any other God. I will not worship any other I God. I will worship you, Jesus. I thank God, Ikoma Edoma, will worship you, Jesus. From today, from today, save me, 
save me. Save my family. And save my family. And I will never ever decline back to and worship will, any other God. And I will never decline back to worship any other God. Apart gods. from Jesus Christ. Apart from Jesus Christ. You are my Savior. You are my Savior. Amen. And amen. Father, your child has given his life to Christ. He accepted you. You have been guiding him before. Continue guiding him. May God bless him, protect him, strengthen him to do your work. Strengthen him to go and preach to others what he has seen here. He was calling all the church, all the pastors in the world, scam before. But today, you are the one that's winning him to your kingdom. Papa, strengthen him. Cover him with your blood anywhere he goes. Don't allow him to suffer anymore. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Many may wonder why Mr. Thank God cried while speaking with the man of God. He did not only witness the accident and survive, he also buried the dead victims. Viewer's discretion is advised. Take it carry up, carry up. I don't get that side. Where are they come? Oh, yeah. Precious. You don't know where I It's Mr. Scooby Doo. A Lollywood actor, and you are equally a Lollywood person. May your soul rest in peace, and may all the victims that died, may they rest in peace. Amen. Let the government and let the world equally help the Nollywood persons to survive in life. Because many of us that are actors today, suffering like this and dying, we came from a very poor family. And we are suffering and dying. But let the world stand for us. Let the government equally stand for us. Imagine me, a survivor. What if I die like this? What will my family say? Or what would the world say? Please, please. Let the world hear us. Let the world hear us. Precious. Precious, may your soul rest in peace. The last call for Mary. And we are going back to our destination. Thank God for everything. After accepting Jesus Christ as his Lord and personal Savior and receiving the cash gift from the man of God, Mr. Thank God had a brief chat with the Mercy TV crew. My name is Thank God Ikoma Edoma. I'm from Benway State, Utupa, Obadebo local government. By the grace of God, yesterday at 5.30, I got an information that Senior Prophet Jeremiah has contributed money to bring out the corpse of my colleague, whom we all drowned inside the water. He died and I survived. I heard about his contribution of 10 million naira that the corpse should be removed from across the river down to River State from Asaba. I was so happy and that triggers me. The spirit led me that I must go or come to Mercy Land this Sunday, which is this very date I'm standing, to thank him personally from the depth of my soul and from the blood that flows in my feet. That's what brought me to Mercy Land City. I come to thank him now receiving two million naira and receiving a holy bible as well which had really made me to be a born again and receive christ today because i was thinking all oh, church has come but it has changed my mindset i have received so much of anointing so much of powers in me and most especially the holy bible it's a joy to me today. I was one of the actor in that very movie tied to the other side of life. We have started this movie from Anwai campus down to across the river from Marine Base Cable and heading to Anams to go and shoot the other side of it, which is a camp where we do keep all the hostage. We do sell their parts their human parts in the movie not in real life it was on it we start crossing the river of niger but that very date 8 of april we all left to that location separately me tc virus other actors and actresses we left on a different boat. Why Junior Pope?
came on his own personal boat. That was on 8th, the first day. We crossed the river. We came back all successfully. It was on the second date, which is 9th of April, we all boarded a boat together, heading to Anam for shooting. That was when we had this accident. Arriving or getting close to Anam's village, it was when the accident took place. Me, myself, TC Virus, Emeka, Mercy Johnson, Junior Pope, Precious, Makeup Artist, Ogolo, the production manager, and as well, like three or four other persons. That was how we're heading to Anam. So we had a canoe on top of the water. We did not see this canoe easily. And there was a blockage from the driver. If I must confess, there was a blockage. He could not see easily or fastly. That was how we tumbled when we clamped the canoe. We all drowned inside the water. By the grace of God, some of us survived it. We don't even know how to swim, but God just did his miraculous work. And we lost five of our colleagues, which are junior pope, precious makeup artist, um, the sound engineer, and as well, a production assistant, which is Friday. That was just how it happened. God, I appreciate you for giving me this life and this opportunity to be alive again. And I want to say, a man with God is a man with majority. I never knew God has a purpose for me to be alive so I can testify or appreciate those who will work or who will contribute for the help of those we have lost. But today I stand firm to say, God is wonderful. God has given me a second chance. I think it's for me to utilize it and as well serve him from the depth of my soul. I really want to say, God, thank you so much. I appreciate you so much from the blood that flows in my vein. Thank you for using me for another chance again. And thank you for equally using senior prophet Jeremiah to be another taproot, another pillar to my late colleagues and equally me, a survivor. It's a joy to me today. Thank you so much. Hmm, my people. May Almighty God continue to bless Prophet Jeremiah. Like if you look closely, you realize that he has been so, so involved after this incident. He even went to the river to proclaim the name of the Lord because of one of the men that came out that said that no man of God will come to river and they say the name of the Lord. So he went there and challenged and he came back. Also, he gave uh, the family of Precious, the sand engineer, 10 million in order to bring a precious body back and give him proper burial. And now he gave one of the survivor 2 million. My people, this is very, very recommendable. May Almighty God, you know, keep blessing Prophet Jeremiah. Another thing here, I'm kind of sad and pain, you know, seeing how they buried this young man honestly, burying him just like a chicken with that casket. And if you look very well, none of the Nollywood people were even there. Especially the producer, Adam Maluk, was not there. Like, my people, what is going on? Like, what is going on, my people? Anyway, that is it, my people. Uh, yeah, I will leave you guys here in my next one. Goodbye for now.